Hey everyone, welcome back to Minecraft. Very, very quiet, actually. Jeez. Very quiet today. I've just decided to quarry out this area. And that's all I've really done. Um, actually, while that's cooking, I'm going to run over here and show you what I've been working on. That's at like 255.20 or something. I think so. Bip. Hip. So, now that I'm actually back on camera, I'm going to see if my chicken machine will work. Of course, there's no reason that it wouldn't. And in fact, it does work. I just know that it hasn't been. I filled it with a couple of eggs, so let's see. Come on. <gasps> what? Why does it look like that? Well, it finally worked. Now I can start to get eggs. Lucky me. Lucky me. It's about time. I left this crease here intentionally because I wanted it to look extra bad and to conserve materials, but now I happen to need to fill it, so. Who's really the smart one? So, you might be able to see over there what I'm working on. I mentioned that I was working on a villager breeder, and boy howdy am I. So it's way over there, because it has to be like 50 blocks away from the village. Um, I learned how to change villager professions, which is pretty sweet. So we've actually got some villager farmers, and as a result, villagers are actually breeding now. Hello, Mrs. B. Have a nice day. So yeah, it's about time. I've got this minecart track set up. I think I already showed this. And you might be able to see a big nerd pole off in the distance there. But this is where I am right now. Nice. That is my eighth beehive, as you can see right here. I've got a bunch of beehives. So this is going to be a villager breeder. I have a lectern in there because I thought that you needed a lectern specifically. I don't know if you do, so I might just make that another composter. But basically, villagers walk through here. And I didn't put any open... Oh, brother. Well, I've got the wood. May as well do it on the camera. Trap doors. Here we go. That should be enough, right? So basically, villager AI works in such a way where they see these things as blocks, even though they actually aren't. I hope that's okay. I don't know if it is. Um, but more, most villagers are too tall to get through here, so they'll just bash their heads into it. But baby villagers will walk through and be shot into here. There's a whole system of water in there that pushes them towards the middle and then pushes them into this little thing. Because I'm using one block of water all the way back there, I have to dig one block down every seven blocks. And since the water source over there is about a hundred sources, is about a hundred blocks from this, I've had to dig down quite a bit. So as you can see here, it's very, very deep underground. I had to hollow out this river. I filled in this river as well. And there's that non-functioning nether portal. Put my glass away, yeah. So it goes very far down there, and it's not even done. But then that's going to lead up into the sky to ensure that it's far enough away. Oh, well...
So yeah, that's that. I like how you can see my cactus farm all the way from here. That's what I've been working on. I want to build a gigantic beacon out of iron, so I need villagers for that because I need golems for the. I need to make a beacon first. Well, I need to make a pyramid, and then I need to make that. I need a bunch of iron. For that, I intend to make a iron golem spawner. For that, I need villagers. I also want to make a trading hall. I've never done it before, so. Yeah, and then all I'm doing other than that is just quarrying. I guess they aren't old enough to have laid an egg. That's fine. Society puts too much pressure on things to grow up too fast. Never appreciating their childhood. Chickens included. Let's hurry up and start laying eggs for us, says my father. When are you going to have grandkids? Never, Dad. Sorry to tell you that I'm not you, and I'm not going to have a life like yours. Ooh, iron. Nice. Eh, I can leave the coal. So um, I'm pretty upset about this. I enchanted these two pickaxes, and neither of them had fortune, so I enchanted this nearly broken one, and it got fortune. So if I find diamonds down here, I'll dig as many as I can, but don't get too excited now. Probably won't be worth anything. Hip. One. The reason I'm not putting in all my coal is because I don't want to waste any coal. Each coal only uh, cooks eight worth of anything. And even though coal is the most plentiful ore in the world, literally, uh, I don't really want to use it too much. It has nothing to do with the fact that, like, I just don't want to waste the, the power. So these quarries are a thing I find myself doing often in Minecraft. They're very, very relaxing, honestly. I just have the ability to turn my brain off. And when I'm done, I'm left with this big hole in the world. Oops. The reason that this one is an 8x8, which is what I usually make them, is because I just didn't feel like it. An 8x8 quarry always means that you'll have... Sorry, I'm just thinking there. An 8x8 quarry means that every layer will get you a stack of something. So if you dig down and there's all dirt, you'll get a stack of dirt. And if you dig down and it's all cobble, you'll get a stack of cobblestone. And I am doing this for the sake of getting resources. Which I am doing. Yeah. Sorry. Should have thinking nothing happened. I'm doing this for the resources, but... I kind of just wanted to have a uh, smaller one. Oh, I need to put torches down here, too. Um, I'd also like to make my stairs whatever the thing was already made out of before, unless it's ore, in which case I dig it and replace it with a cobblestone. I just, it feels so much more natural, you know? Like someone just reached down and plucked out a piece of the earth, which is really what I did. Or, you know, I leave dirt in my, in my wake. So I just get all the way in. Ooh, iron. Love that. I don't like strip mining too much because with this, I can always see the sky. I can. Ma I I hate getting trapped inside. Um, like even in quarantine, I I went outside. I just didn't go anywhere public. I just, you know, walked around the uh, parking lot in my apartment. Oh, I found a little something. Um, I haven't made any more progress on the spider spawner. While uh, researching mob farms, I learned that a single mob spawner is the most inefficient way to possibly get experience. Um, more inefficient farm, at least, but I'm all right with that. I just, I'm just starting, you know. Things don't really matter too much. Oh, 
I'll film it later. So interesting. I didn't get it this way. Keep tunneling this out. Wow, yeah, I just missed it. All right, then. This will give me a little something to explore. I love exploring. Beginning to run out of pickaxe juice. Hello? It's coal down here, and coal's good, but I don't really need coal. All right. Second pickaxe of the day. Well, like 18th, but second fully enchanted one. I've had such an odd song stuck in my head. I've had a really crappy country song in my head. I don't like country. I mean, no one should, but I especially don't. John Dever doesn't count. I know I'm digging straight up, and that's a cardinal sin, but I live in Missouri. We know all about cardinals. That might be the lamest joke I've ever said. I've said a lot of stinkers. And yes, I'm cursed to live in Missouri. Although it could be worse. I could live in Vermont. At least, like, my state has, like, a landmark. You know? It's like that ancient philosophical question, why is there something instead of nothing? Yeah, the original version of that is, uh, why was there Missouri instead of Vermont? Sorry, Vermontonians. I'm sorry you have a boring state. I know I've changed this uh, series' name to Maidcraft because I'm, you know, the maid of this world, the custodian. Tidying things up and leaving wonders in my wake. But this one should be called Sleepcraft. Maybe I'll give the episodes titles. Not all of them have come out yet. So maybe I'll go back and title them. And it is 3 in the morning. I actually got a decent uh, night of sleep the last two nights. Probably because I wasn't playing Minecraft. I had a weird dream that I'm currently not allowed to divulge on camera. It's nothing sinister. It's just really weird. I also don't think I could explain it without breaking PG-13. Looks like a good cave. I'll just leave that as is. Okay. Now, let's see here. What else do we have? Hmm. More coal. Many dirt. All right. So I don't know if anyone needs to guess this, but in case you guessed, yes, my giant pyramid made of iron or possibly gold is going to be at zero zero. That's uh what I partially what I was saving. Zero, zero, four. The reason that the portal's there right now, the nether portal, that is, is just for the sake of ease of use. Well, I've gone down too far. Up is that way. It sure is, Alfred. That's too far. Hmm. 
Okay, cool. And now we just keep on going down. I made the last few pickaxes, or <laughs> diamonds that I had into a pickaxe, uh, and then decided to not use it just because I don't want to break it. Did I screw this up somehow? One, two, three, four. four. Hmm, I did. This was uh, supposed to be five by five for a total of 15. No, I know it's not 15. It's 25. Oh, well, it's a good looking. That's it. Little floating island there. Crunch. It's so satisfying to go downstairs that way. I wish I could do that in real life, but unfortunately, uh, I have ankles. God's mistake, ankles. Got particularly weak ankles, too. You know, at some point, I think I will have dug up everything in the world. I'm certainly going for it. You ever wonder if when you die, you're going to get a screenshot of, like, your stats? You know? Because I don't know how many hours I've spent playing Minecraft. And were it represented on a graph, it would be really high, and then really low, and then really high again. And then really low, and then really high. Because I played it basically every day for a couple of years. And then I played it not quite every day for a year. And then I played it every few days. And that's now. And yeah, that's basically my Minecraft experience. With, of course, a couple years worth of break every, every couple of couples. I don't know if I would consider myself good at Minecraft, though. Because the things that I see people build, like those giant massive villager breeders or trading halls or things that require you to understand coding and Minecraft's coding in particular and, like, how the game works and what it like redstone engineers and stuff do like i don't think i could ever do that i'm essentially a kid playing with legos here like i don't know what i'm doing i just you know like the look of it all but that doesn't really matter the point here is that i'm having fun doing what i am doing which, of course, should be the point of everything you do. Even a job, if you can handle it. I'm not unemployed, but my work is mad at me because I'm still in quarantine. Not that I can do anything about that, unless I can invent a cure for sick. This is a very square hallway. Uh, interesting. Whoa. Cool, this place is weird. <gasps> Wait, is that... Wait, hold on. I think this is under my quarry. I would have gotten here eventually anyway. That's kind of funny. 
Oh, I'm full. Okay. You're going in, funny. Just want to scope everything out. It's good to get lapis as well. I haven't gotten lapis in a while, so everything that I have has just been kind of running dry. Cool. I didn't know about all these caverns. It's nice that I've discovered many. Many a cavern. All right. So let's see if I even get one out of this. One. Two. This is the fortune one, right? Yep, it is. Five, nice. Six. Because this is a little block of eight. Ten. All right, we got two extra. That isn't so bad. I could save it, but I do want this redstone. And then I think there was lapis around here somewhere as well. I don't think it'll do anything for my... Shoot. Well, I got rid of the lava. Why are buckets tough enough to survive holding lava in them? But if dropped in lava, they burn. A riddle for the ages. There's another square hallway. Hmm, I don't like that. Well, now I kind of just want to get out. 2016. I want to, but will I? Who knows? Only I know. I don't think gravel makes for very good free-floating stairs in this economy. Thud. Should be careful to break my ankles. Should be, but will I? Who knows? Now, I believe that if I get that thing on an anvil, I can repair it, but I don't know how worth it exactly is to repair an iron pickaxe with fortune. Oh, it's going to be a problem to get a staircase up here, so may as well just head up. We got two extra diamonds, though. That means that I can use my efficiency many diamond pickaxe without feeling guilty. And I'll put the... Uh, Really picked a real trench to throw this into. It's fine. They're not being diamonds. All right. Let's see if my chickens have laid any eggs. Nope. I guess I should put these in the treasure's chest. I don't have a lot of gold. Never found too much gold. I ended up not getting any... <laughs> I didn't get any uh, lapis even though I saw some. That's alright. I can go back down for it. Lapis usually goes in here anyway though. All right, Fortune pickaxe goes in here. I'll take this. Cat's banging around out there. Such a turd sometimes. 
polished diorite. You get the diorite. It would appear that granite is the rarest of these. I wonder if anyone's ever needed to know that before. Yes, you see, granite is actually the rarest of the uh, irons. Let's go grab those that I left behind there. I'll leave the thing there since it'll be an effective mine for now. And then I guess I can call the episode just a a little sleepy Minecraft episode. It's like 255.19, was it? Yeah, here it is. Thud. And the level, nice. So let's get started on an anvil. Because if I can fix my iron pickaxe, then I won't need to worry about enchanting something else with fortune. It'll tide me over until I get another draw of fortune. Though it's pretty rare. Let me see here. Block, block of iron, here we are. Now, how the heck does one make an anvil? Three block. Okay. Is that enough? Can I... <laughs> That's always satisfying. Okay. Yeah, it does work. Oh, you're kidding. La juicy. That's a really irritating sound. Let's put a few more in there, though. Get the juicy back up and kicking. Lucky. I'll leave it there. And then, yeah, that's diamonds. Um, I might do that a few more times. I might go vein, uh, uh, strip mining. Strip mining is very, very boring, so I might have to get something to... Oh, wait, right. I didn't put the eggs in. Assuming I have eggs. Maybe I could connect a thing to put eggs in there. That would be something, wouldn't it? All right, yeah, but that's the episode. Thanks for coming by, everyone, to my chill, boring Minecraft playthrough. Um, next time, I will get the villager farmer started. But yeah, thanks for coming by.